Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be installing and not really styling this unit sent to me by Ali Pearl Hair. So if you want to see that, go ahead and keep on watching. Just keep on watching the beautiful... Do y'all hear my neighbor upstairs? Yeah. I wonder if her name's... Okay, way off track. Anyways, so this is the box that it came in. Traditional little like paper box per usual. The wig came inside this little plastic bag. There's like this little card inside with these beautiful gorgeous ladies on them. Um, then this is just the unit it came with the little, you know, cafeteria lady net on basic, um, cap construction. It's a lace front. Thank the Lord. It was a lace front. You know, they're having that lace shortage right now. So I'm very happy. I got my hands on a lace frontal. Um, this is color six or, oh, I'm a liar. This is color 27. This is the color that, why was I shaking that like that? Oh my gosh. This is the color that I normally get wigs in when I want honey blonde hair because this is exactly how it looks. And then this right here coming up is just all the accessories that they gave me along with the wig. To be completely honest, I don't use half of them. I give them all to my sister except for the little like silk. Oh, here we go. I was doing so good. Except for the little silk scarves and the bags, I do not really care for the bandos the headbands but my little sister loves them so i just give them to her great gifts for her she literally adores them and the headbands the little smaller ones so that's just the that's just all that is i'm just showing you guys what else came in the bag and i think i'm about to start talking i'm trying to stop cutting myself so i'm gonna be quiet now only set up right now because as a lot of you know i just moved so today's video might be all over the place just a little bit but we're gonna work with what we can. I have not been able to film anything for the past like week. I already washed it and stuff. Um, I haven't been able to film anything for the past week because of the move. It's had me really turned around. Like all my stuff is everywhere. I don't know where anything is, chill. It's just a mess. But I'm not doing the bald cap method today. I'm just going to use the normal method. I am going to color my cap, however. I feel like I kind of need to do this no matter what, because you do be seeing this cap um, either way. Like, you, you see the cap underneath if you don't do the ball cap method. So, I feel like the least you can do is color it and tint it to your skin color. So, I use Golden Honey by Ruby Kiss. I feel like it's a really good um, pressed powder. It gets the job done, child. Period. I'm just going to go ahead and fit it on my I have scissors. Yeah, me. Okay, I'm back, and there's probably gonna be a handful of tools missing because I'm still moving in. Ooh, moving in, I still have no idea where half my crap is. It's a mess today. I literally have a mirror on the edge of the tables then that's my assistance because I literally have no other way to see myself. Okay, let's center it. I'm gonna cut my ear flaps first. So let's make sure it's centered, both ends. I think this is centered. Okay, now, where's my ear bed? Right here, I feel roughly where they are and cut a little lower than where you feel just because if you cut too much you cut too much like you can't go back and fix it it's cut however if you don't cut enough that doesn't matter because you can just cut more okay so this should fit my head real nice now with both my ears out okay period and that's exactly what i'm talking about so I'm gonna do the free spray method today. So I'm just gonna free spray this while it's on my head. So I don't think I plugged this wig at all. So that's gonna be fun, but I'm just gonna take my little clips and push all this hair out of my way because it's in my way. Okay, I got a new blow dryer. So I guess we'll be using this together for the first time. Gonna make me do work just to blow dry my hair. This is this is gonna, let's see. I want it turned like a little angle and I want it cold. Take our got to be glued spray. Make sure it is positioned exactly where you want it. Okay. So this is where I want it. 
I'm gonna spray the edges. And y'all know I had to sing for you. I'm gonna sing for you because I am gonna. S I need to stop doing these voiceovers at five in the morning, running off no sleep because they're not funny. They make no sense. I just be rambling, singing, sounding terrible. Hey. Before it dries too much, I wanna comb and push down when I comb. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y N Z. Now I know my ABCs. Can y'all say my backwards? Z Y X W Z Y X W. Yeah. Ooh, embarrassing. Comb, push down. Cause you want to be sticking it down, but you also want to make sure that the hair is not going to stick together. And do it properly. So I do the little slits. I'm gonna spray a little more up here. So this side's done for the most part. I like this method, bro, because it's really that easy. Like, I'm halfway done. Like, what? I have not glued in a wig down in I don't know how long, ever since I started doing this. Same exact thing. Just don't want it dripping down your forehead. I'm gonna do the last side. Now I do kind of have a lot of hair out on this side. So y'all are probably gonna see that. I didn't, I didn't like gel my hairs down or anything like that in the slightest. Okay, so basically all I do is this super repetitive cycle of just spray, comb, blow dry, spray, comb, blow dry, spray, comb, blow dry. This just makes sure that when you're spraying the hair down, you're not spraying the hair down. Like you're not spraying the hair into the exact positions. That's what I kept doing when I started doing this method. And I didn't realize what I was doing wrong. <sighs> Excuse me. Y'all y'all already know the job. I didn't realize what I was doing wrong until I realized I wasn't combing. So the combing is what is going to make sure that the hairs don't stick together. So it's very vital that you do that before it can completely dry down to your head. Um, again, a mistake I was making a lot. I have it on the cool setting just because, I don't know, I saw some YouTubers say that the cool setting is like better or something and I believe everything everyone tells me. So I was like, sure, it's Hotes my goats. Definitely gonna do that now because like, who even likes hot air? Not me, girl. So that's the setting I have it on. I just got this blow dryer, so I'm gonna like tip. I'm getting really off subject and I think I'm about to talk BRB. Also, mind y'all, I have this on the cold setting. Like, this blow dryer is on the coldest setting possible. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my lace now just to have an idea. And so I can go ahead and start sticking down the parts that um, like didn't, didn't, like, after you, after you cut, there's always gonna be, after you cut, there's always gonna be these like little flaps of pieces that need to be glued again. So I'm just gonna cut. I can feel it like picking up my makeup. <laughs> it's okay, no matter. Let me fix it now. I'm gonna cut as much lace as possible. Remember, I told y'all you want the literal least amount of lace in existence. Oof, I cut this, I glued this side down way too far. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna take my free spray and spray those ends again, but keeping it really concentrated on those lines and using my comb to pat it down while blow drying it. So blow dry and then pat it down. do this last side so my phone died while I was blow drying couldn't stop because I didn't want it to lift the wig so I had to do a little bit of a wig out y'all but then I realized I also realized that I didn't cut enough ear flap on this side so I'm just gonna do that part on my head because I'm not taking it off just to do that and then let's just stick her down y'all
there's literally there's literally so much of my hair out on this side but that's besides the point you're not gonna you're not gonna be seeing all that so if it's out of sight it's out of mind child so we have her installed i guess we need to tweeze the hairline because she's a little she's a little bulky I will say that she is a little bulky. Let me put some earrings in, child. Okay, these are like my favorite earrings right now, but this is what it looks like. Let me clip the back, child. This is what it looks like just on my head, just installed. I haven't styled it yet. Um, I haven't really done anything yet. I'm about to cut the little side piece. Y'all know the one? I don't have my little eyebrow, my little razor comb, so I'm just gonna run it around, and it goes just drag it so it's like a smoother cut and just like a super blunt cut, I guess. I don't know. That's what I'm gonna do with my sand Kinda? I don't know. I kinda don't really wanna style it. I kinda like it. Like the way that this looks. What do y'all think? Y'all yeah. are gonna think I'm doing this because I'm lazy, but it's it's because I actually like it. Like, it looks cute. Like, it's like that, like, you know, I don't really care about anything look, but I still look cute, you know? You know? And then these earrings are like my thing right now. No, I like it. I'm leaving it like this. The hair is really soft and it's like, there's no, I hate wigs that come with like a super deep part and I feel like I can't like fling it around. I feel like if I wanted to, I could style this anyway right now and it would stick well. So I'm really into it. I really like this hair. Um, I'm probably gonna mess around with it and curl it later on. I'm not sure yet. Um, I guess we'll see. I actually really like this unit though. And this is that color that y'all know I love. That's that um, 27 honey blonde color. It's like the best color ever. If y'all want honey blonde, always get color 27. Well, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, leave comments, tell me these do all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.